Welcome back, Commander. New construction options. Building. Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing a oil in center and corner game. Construction complete. Uh, I am playing as Britain. I am playing against another Briton, a Yuri player and a Libya player. Training. New construction options. Building. Construction complete. Building. Construction complete. So, like always, I'm uh, building towards the middle so I can uh, protect my base from being scouted and trying to and trying to capture my oil as fast as possible. Building. So it begins. I'm also building up my economy with uh, building power plants and I'm using the dog to capture crates so gain, uh, gain credits, experience, units, etc. Because I'm not terribly lucky with those crates yet and stick to, sticking to my usual build with 6 power plants. And maybe later, if I get lucky with uh, lots of money crates, I'll stop building the power plants and just go for uh, my war factory or the stack up. Anyway, now I'm using the, the crates, trying to rank up my units. I got a map reveal instead, that's quite alright, and very useful at the moment. Building. No, I'm not sure, but I think this uh, game is without super weapons. And we'll see that in a bit when Training. I put down my battle lab. Unit ready. So far I'm not Unit really that lucky with crates. Construction complete. Didn't really get the new stones. Well, I can Build. see that the battle between you and the Libya player is quite intense for them. Unit ready. And the Allied player is building up Rocketeers, so I'm um, building anti air units and Pluto. Training. Building. Building. Unit ready. It seems like the Building. Allied player wants On to hold. rush someone who cares. Construction complete. I'm not sure who's who's um, who's who going to rush. Unit anyway, the Libyan player is complaining about 2v1 and I think he's basically dead right now. At least as far as I'm looking at the minimap, I don't see any of those buildings. Or rather, there are only a few left. Unit promoted. Insufficient funds. Unit ready. Tools of the trade. Now my bet fortress is out and I'm growing tired of trying to hunt for a rank up crates for my uh, infantry so I just uh, garrisoned, them, garrisoned them into the battle fortress and now I'm Building prison tanks so I can protect myself from any potential base work from the Allied player, as he seems very aggressive with those prison towers. Now, the Yuri player has been quite smart in trying to promote his uh, Lasher tanks. The lashers can be quite uh, effective when promoted. But um, if he just sticks to lasher tanks, I don't think he's going to be very successful. I think he needs to start building magnetrons, masterminds, or even the floating discs. And he already has a few floating discs 
just up. So I need even more on here. Maybe a few promoted like this would help. Now I got a Soviet MCV. Um, I kind of hope for a Yuri one, so I can uh, I can build a Yuri. My better photo is filled with Yuri clones, but uh, so it MC you because of the flak cut, uh, flak cannons that are you know, that, that are better against the air units. So I need to place a bunch of those down for the floating discs. And sooner or later I'm going to need uh, a few black cannons at the back. Yeah. Now I don't mind playing uh, this map with crates, it can be a lot of fun, but usually I prefer it to be played with super weapons, because games on this map without super weapons can easily turn into a camp fest, where everyone just camps. And uh, basically, the player, the two players, the one player that doesn't attack usually wins because he doesn't suffer great losses and can attack uh, the winner of the other engagement. Construction complete. Building. This in flight. You can see I'm um, building a lot of flat cannons in one place at the bottom so I protect my money income. Sooner or later I'm going to have to build a... I'm going to have to take up in the southern Soviet tech tree. Because I want to use Boris. Boris is uh, very powerful and uh, in a better fortress because his rate of fire is uh, just absurd. But I think uh, because my money flow isn't that great at the moment, I'm trying to first build. As many power plants as possible. I create a money crate or two to help the situation. Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. Building. Let's show them what we got. Affirmative, sir. Construction complete. We're almost Unit ten ready. minutes into the game now. Building. I'm building. Uh, Protective wall at the start of park and just in the entrance to my base with power plants. Now this isn't as useful without uh, the shield, but it can stop the opposing players for a moment or two. So it's not like it's not effective, but uh, it's not as effective as, as it could. Okay, the Yuri player started to build uh, masterminds and I'm starting to build the Soviet factory, build up, build up the Soviet factory. Rocketeers, you can see I am good Rocketeers. I see that the Euro player has very poor uh, anti-air, 
so I think I'm going to use uh, Rocketeers to attack him. At the same time, the other allied player, well, the allied, allied uh, Patriot missiles aren't really that effective against uh, Rocketeers, so as long as that uh, player doesn't have, uh, didn't get a Soviet or Yuri MCV. I Training. think uh, Rocketeer is going to be very effective against him too. Construction complete. Building. Unit ready. Construction uh, now the Allied pair also got a MC. So I'm the only one without Yuri at this moment. And the allied player can New be quite dangerous Training. with uh, some Training. different uh, battle fortress and Yuri combos and Yuri infantry combos. And the uh, defeated uh, player complete. is now informing Unit us ready. that we have to rush the allied player because it is Yuri. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, construction complete. So and the allied player is uh, very angry that the that the other player is ten. Unit promoted. Unit speed upgraded. Construction complete. Building. Unit firepower. I think the. Uh, I think uh, that uh, whoever takes the top spot first is going to win the game because that spot uh, allows you to build more production buildings, more power plants, so your, uh, your money comes faster. And I'm in the worst position to take that because I'm on the opposite side of the map and getting reinforcements there to defend is quite hard. So it's going to be either one of the other two players. I think that the Yuri player is winning that battle because uh, the floating discs are much better at defending the position as the allied players, uh, rocketeers are. You can see that I'm trying to promote my Tesla troopers and my Boris. I want to get Boris to, uh, to an elite level, but so far it's not really working out for me. And you can see that the allied pair has a lot of battle fortresses. If he decides to attack me, he's going to make short work of my defenses. But at the same time, he's going to expose himself to the Yuri player. Now the Yuri player is taking the top starting spot, and this is where he's going to try, probably going to increase his production buildings and his power plants, at least if, if he's smart. Unit ready. Now the Unit ready. defeated player has suggested to put uh, a mastermind into the bunker. As far as I know, masterminds cannot be put into bunkers. Same goes for magnetrons. Construction complete. Unit ready. So basically, all he can put in there are Gatling tanks and lash lashes. 
and any units he might get from a crate. The new player now has at least five war factories, so his uh, production of units is really fast, but uh, I'm not quite sure he has enough uh, money income. The UV power plants gain the least amount of money of any faction, so unless he got really lucky with crates, he should be lower on uh, money than both me and the other allied player. Yeah, the defeated player uh, told us uh, we're camping, and that's quite true because, like I said before, the first player to attack uh, is probably going to lose. I doubt uh, any of us have enough uh, units to destroy one player and uh, defend against the other. Because the Uri player up top has still hasn't got much of anti-air. I'm building uh, Rocketeers and uh, Siege Choppers. Okay, now he's building Gatling tanks. A bit late, but okay. Unit ready. That doesn't really change my plan much. I'm just going to build more rocketeers and siege choppers. And maybe try to distract him somehow. We will see what we'll do when we decide to attack. I decided not to promote that uh, Boris because I can barely see any crates in my base because I built. I basically built uh, structures everywhere. Now I'm building uh, Air Force command centers, so I'll build Harriers. I'll build Harriers to snap out some any buildings, probably the NCBs. Well, I felt a bit guilty because I'm talking with the top two players, the Curie and the defeated one, and it kind of felt like we were playing uh, 2v1. So eventually I'm going to stop doing that. I mean, I wouldn't mind if the other players just talk about it, but I'm sure most uh, players would mind or think that it's a 2-1 just by talking. Yeah, now they accuse me of uh, camping, and I just throw them right back that I'm not sure what to do. Now I'm going to use this Colonel Jumeir to attack his oil. Not a lot of people know this, but if you attack the oil with the Jumeir for a few seconds and then not erase it, it stops producing money. It's basically an ornament after that. And the other player cannot build new ones because he already has two oils. So what I basically did, I stopped his oil production and he might not even notice it. Because uh, he'll still get income from his power plants, just the income won't be as fast as before. Now I'm going to build multiple, uh, multiple new prison tanks. 
Construction complete. Just to uh, be safe when the attack comes, and I'm going to build boxes at the edge there because uh, I'm counting on the put boxes to act like, act like, like a father for the battle fortresses of the Elite Pair on the left. So it seems that uh, the Uri player is getting ready to attack. Or maybe he just took care of that uh, anti-air. Oh no, he's destroying the walls, so I guess something is going to happen there. Yeah, I think he's attacking through the UFOs at the left. Let's try and uh, scout a bit. I want to see what the, what the other player has under the gap. Let's send the rocketeer over there. Training. 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 Unit ready. Again, it's lagging a bit. Okay, now send the rocketeer ready. over there. Uh, Unit ready. I didn't really want to send all of them. I'm sure he's going Unit to lost. say no, it's a 2 in 1. Let's move away. Move Unit away, ready. move away, move away. And yeah, Unit ready. that was kind of predictable. Unit ready. I think I'm thinking it's a 2 in 1. And he just gave up the artifact. So now what I'm going to do is try to snipe uh, the MCV of the player. Which didn't go really well, but now I'm going to try to snipe his MCV and his uh, war factors. If I can slow down his production, I think I can win this game quite Unit easily ready. because Unit we're promoted. going to waste Unit a lot of money to catch up to me. And even better if I can destroy Unit his royals ready. and his money income. Yeah, okay, so close. Unit ready. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit ready. Unit promoted. Now, if I'm Unit lucky, lost. I can get even his guard. Unit lost. Now, I didn't kill all of his four factors there. I think it's much more important that I take care of his Elad MCV so he cannot rebuild so quickly. And I'm going to use my Siege Choppers to try to take out a few of his Mastermines. Now, the good thing about him moving the MCV is that he cannot build uh, any anti air right now, so. So he has to move his units. Unit lost. And that went quite well for me. I destroyed all my his production units, all of his MCVs, and even a few of his uh, masterminds. And uh, now he's going to start Building. his attack. But I'm quite ready for that. So have to do is destroy his last mastermind as soon as possible and move my battle fortresses closer to this entrance to my base as their favorite guard and GIs and I need them against the Unit promoted. and this is going quite well I'm not sure why he's not putting his floating discs on my uh, Power plants and he'd stop uh, my black cannon fire. I guess that was a mistake on this part. Player 
and he gave up. GG. Well played. Victory tastes delicious. After months of brutal fighting, Allied forces have captured Soviet Premier Romanov in his Kremlin command post late this afternoon in a dizzying show of high technology and good old military discipline. Much of the credit for the amazing success of the Allied campaign goes to a little-known commander from 